One very important person is often forgotten in the discussion of Black American political pioneers, George Edwin Taylor. Taylor ran for president in 1904 as the candidate of the National Negro Liberty Party. Born on August 4, 1857 in Little Rock, Arkansas, he was the son of a free African-American woman named Amanda Hines and an enslaved man named Nathan Taylor. According to the law of the time, this status enabled him to get an education and enjoy certain freedoms that other people did not enjoy at the time. The Negro Liberty Party and its platform promoted reparations for formerly enslaved people, enforcement of the Constitution to protect black rights, and independence for the Philippines. Taylor headed the political party from 1888 to 1904. At the time, Southern Democrats were enacting laws that disenfranchised most black voters and were imposing segregation through Jim Crow laws. Northern Democrats seemed unwilling or unable to control the excesses of their Southern parties. It was also a time when lynching and other forms of abuse against African Americans were starting to occur in the North and when scientific racism was gaining traction within the nation's academic and scientific communities. George Edwin Taylor did not win the presidency, but he set the ball in motion for other African Americans to run and win the presidency. His courage to run demonstrated how a person can be born of bondage and still attempt to ascend to the highest office in the land.